Just like I have told you before about the Z modeler, also subdivisions inside ZBrush have some limitations. So subdivision models are great because they are very efficient way to create fine detail and all those things. However, they can't do everything. Let's take a look at the limits of what they can and can't do. Uh, now the basic structure of you have we have here of this model, you can see its subdivision levels over here. So let me open uh, a different model here for better demonstration. I have this uh, in the Lightbox Soldier model. I will open this one. Okay. Now you can see that I have uh, some of these uh, models over here. And if you will notice here, the subdivision level of this is uh, 3. If I press uh, Alt and click on the vest, this is 2. This is um, two also. Okay, maybe let's increase this one. So you can see uh, most of them are on a different subdivision level. So what happens over here is that when you have uh, when you are splitting or merging sub tools with subdivision levels, you have to be careful, or it will destroy the subdivisions and lock in current subdivision level. So now if i will do go over here and subdivision and you know maybe this one is higher this one is not too high and if i will start merging them down okay merging them down and you can see that now i let me press shift and i over here to uh isolate this one Okay, so you can see that this is the only model I have right now. Now, if I will go back to my geometry, you can see that this one had around five, but now the whole thing is two. So it have destroyed my whole subdivision structure now. So this is how you have to be careful. Now, you know, this was undoable process. Now I cannot do anything about it. So now if I will go back here and if I want to, uh, split it and split two parts and if i will go back to these let's see if we have still those so con uh, alt click on this one so you can see subdivision uh, subdivision level two this one now you can see it is not five anymore this is for subdivision level two this one was already subdivision level two so i lost one subdivision level here i lost three subdivision level over here so this is how you have to be a little careful over here. So these are some limitations as you can see. So what you uh, have to do in this case is that if you want to avoid this, make sure the parts that you want to merge, you have you can go to those parts. Okay, like suppose any one of these parts, if I press Alt and click over here, this one, if my uh, if my shirt, this shirt is around how many subdivision level? It is uh, right now, uh two so let me do one thing here let me bring this again so we can start over again the whole thing okay so suppose i want to i have this okay uh head which is three subdivision level uh goggles which is also uh three subdivision level okay and i have this shirt which is two subdivision level so let's do one thing. Let's turn this shirt uh, to maybe four subdivision level. Now I want to merge, but at the same time, I don't want to use, uh, lose my subdivision settings. Okay. So what I can do here is that if I will go back to my uh, goggles, this one, I will keep it five. Okay. And I will go to the head and this one also I will turn it to five so now this uh the like the head the whole body is also five subdivision level the goggles is also five subdivision level and the shirt itself is also uh, like you know uh five subdivision level now all or all of these are on the same page 
So one thing I have to do here is that let me uh, bring all these on top so I can easily merge them down. Okay, so now all of them are here. So I will just press merge down so that I can merge them all together. Okay, so it will take a little time to merge because now there are a high number of all the subdivision levels. Okay, now if I will just go press shift and I over here, so it will just turn this on. Now, if I will go to the geometry, you can see that I have five subdivision levels, which was I was expecting. Now I didn't lose any structure over here, so I can go back to the below the bottom one, and easily I can, uh, you know, go to sub tool and and I can split them. And once I will split them, make sure you are on the high subdivision level, and then you can split them to parts. Press OK, and once you do that, it will split without uh you know compromising with the subdivision uh structure over here so this is one way to avoid these things now for the other limitation let me reopen uh this file so we can discuss some more uh, limitations here now another limitation of subdivision based model is that they have to subdivide the entire model at the same time so if we want to add more details to this so what we could uh, get maybe some sh uh, sharper scratcher uh, like scratches on its nose for example we have to subdivide the entire model creating more details everywhere even if you only uh, need it on one small area so suppose if I have this head, let me select this head, and then if I will subdivide it a couple of, couple, like couple of time here, okay. Okay, now I go to detail here, what I, what I was looking for. Uh, on the nose, okay. So I have the, the detail on the nose, and you can see that it's working pretty much fine over here. And let me go to my standard tool so this is fine but this detail i only needed on the nose other way around i didn't needed that detail that was fine for me but you know as the subdivision is applied on the whole model so you have to compromise now you know i only wanted here on the nose but it had applied on the whole model itself Whereas in other applications like Maya or Blender, you can select the parts that you want to uh, smooth out. So that is something to watch out for. But overall subdivision is of the most tried and true method at increasing detail levels in ZBrush. That makes a ZBrush one of the most powerful tool when it comes uh, to uh, sculpting. Okay. So uh, one of my favorite tools and I can say one of the world's fame uh, like favorite tool for like sculpting and it's an industry uh, standard software used for uh, movies and for gaming and a great tool over here uh, regardless the limitations it works really really great so guys i hope you have learned uh, something about uh the, like from to, uh, today's lesson and you have um, maybe you have found some uh, tips and tricks here to avoid the limitations if you have liked my video please click on the like button and if you want some more uh you know tips and tricks uh, and any tutorials that you want uh, so just leave in the comment section some uh some of those uh, like suggestions so i can de de uh, like definitely work on it so guys uh give me a shout out on your social media network i will be really happy and and uh, it will really support me so guys take care until we meet for the next lesson